Hello, my name is Benjamin Bode. I'm a postdoctoral researcher at ICMAT and in this video I will tell you a bit about my recent result on knotted magnetic field lines. I proved that for every knot, no matter how complicated it is, there is an electromagnetic field which has closed magnetic field lines in the shape of that knot and as the field evolves with time, this knotted structure is stable. So the knot moves around in space, but it always maintains its topological shape. This is a piece of string, and I can tie a knot into it. And this has now two open ends, so I can easily untie it. But if I tie a knot into the string and then I glue the ends together, then there's nothing that I can do to get rid of the knot. So this is what a mathematician calls a knot. It's a closed loop that doesn't intersect itself. And Two knots are considered equivalent if I can take one of them and move it around in space until it looks exactly like the second one. And there are infinitely many different knots. And knots appear in many branches of science and physics and biology. They play a role in topological quantum computing. Uh, they appear as knotted strands of circular DNA, which are crucial in uh, a lot of cancer medication. Uh, there are a lot of physical systems that can contain knots in one way or another. Quantum systems, laser light, fluids, um, certain field theories. And among these electromagnetic fields play a kind of special role because we can use electromagnetic fields in theory to transfer a knot into a different system. So for example if you have a knot in an electromagnetic field and I will explain in a moment what I mean by that, uh, you can use that to tie a knot, to put a knot into plasma because plasma is affected by a magnetic field. Uh, first, let me explain why I think it's interesting to study which kinds of knots you can get in these different systems. I see it as a topological test of how much control we have over one of these systems. If you can't get every knot, if it's restricted to a certain class of knots, then that means that you don't have that much control over the system, that there's a certain rigidity to it, it's not very flexible. And in that case, other interesting questions arise. For example, if there is only a certain family of knots that you can get in a system, then that would suggest that there must be some connection between the topological and geometric properties of these knots and the equations that describe the physical system. In this picture you see the magnetic field lines of a magnetic field that is induced by a magnet. And as you can see, all the field lines start and end on the magnet. The magnetic fields that I study are in vacuum, so there's no magnet. Instead, the fields are induced by changing electric fields. So you have uh, what is called an electromagnetic field, which consists of an electric field and a magnetic field. And in this setting, there can be field lines that are closed loops. Electromagnetic fields evolve in time according to Maxwell's equations. And I'm not going into any details here, the only thing that you really need to know is that these two fields are coupled. 
meaning that the magnetic field determines how the electric field changes with time and the other way around. The electric field determines how the magnetic field changes with time. So now, if you know that you can have, in principle, field lines that are closed loops, you might wonder if you can get field lines that are not. And then you go one step further and ask if these knots remain stable as the fields evolve with time. And this last question of stability is particularly difficult because usually field lines do not behave like tangible objects, like pieces of string. When the field evolves, what usually happens is that the field lines can break apart, knots just disappear. So if you want to get stable knots, these are problems that you have to take care of. And over a hundred years ago, Henry Bateman studied electromagnetic fields that have this very desirable property that the field lines in fact do behave like tangible objects. They behave like pieces of string wood if you put them in a fluid and they just move around in space. So in particular, if you have a closed field line that forms a knot, this knot will remain stable for all time. It will move around in space, but it will not disappear. The field line will not pass through itself and thereby change its knot type. It will maintain its topological shape for all time. And he even had a construction for fields with this property, uh, which you can think of as like a machine which takes as an input a complex differentiable function and gives you as an output one of these electromagnetic fields. So there's a very nice connection here between Maxwell's equations and complex analysis. And what I found was that you can interpret Bateman's construction in terms of contact topology, which is another branch of topology. And I used this and some results from contact topology and complex analysis to prove that for every knot you can find sub such a complex differentiable function which then leads to the corresponding electromagnetic field. And there's your knotted magnetic field line, which means that you can get uh, any knot as a stable magnetic field line.